Saudi women's football team have played their first match ever. Yeah, Mark. for me, the biggest news in the Middle East, not only in sports tonight. Ah. Yeah, and I tell you why. Because when I started my way as a journalist that focuses on the Middle Eastern football, I started to see slight changes in Saudi Arabia in relations to women. In 2016, first time ever women were able to attend football games in the country. And that was basically one year after they were able to drive. Okay, or to, to work in a, in a job of, uh, of uh, like a parallel to men and stuff like that. Now they have their own league and their own national team that today played its and first we see ever game. Pictures, I think, from the match. Yes, yeah. indeed, yes. That they played against the Seychelles. They won 2 0. Uh, Bandari Mubarak, this is the name of the girl who scored the historical first goal for Saudi Arabia for the women team. And uh, Mariam Tamim scored the second one 2 0. In a friendly tournament in the Maldives, uh, uh, Saudi Arabian national team will stay there for, for the rest of the week. And historical pictures, you see, part of the girls are uh, wearing hijab, others. Mm -hmm. Don't. Uh, rare photos, rare event, but in general, I think, you know, uh, congratulations to the girls and, the, and women in Saudi Arabia in general. And, and I think it's a great moment for Middle Eastern football and Middle Eastern sports in general. It's an interesting cultural moment, isn't it? And it, I mean, is football popular in Saudi Arabia in general? Football is very popular in Saudi Arabia, probably. After camel races is mo the most popular sport, or the, is the same, you know, camels are very popular in the Gulf, in Qatar, UAE, and Saudi Arabia. So it's like uh, paralleling to horse racing, if, let's say in the UK or, or stuff like this, but f football is huge. We talk here every week about Al Hilal, Al Nasser, all the biggest clubs that, you know, attract millions of fans from across the region, not only from Saudi Arabia. And obviously they have uh, girlfriends as well. So now the girls have their own league, their own national team. Maybe in the future we'll see Al Hilal women, Al Nasser women. You know, it's something that really changes the the relation within Saudi Arabian society and sports, and exciting and fascinating to follow. Yeah, it's really a symbol of how things are changing in indeed, this part of the world, indeed. and it's very nice to see. All right, Uri, thank you very thank much you, indeed, Laura. Uri Levy there.